Let's drink apple cider to the origin of mommy and a mommy. Before we get started, I just want to let you know there are major, major, major spoilers ahead. I'm actually going to be starting by looking at chapter 183. So if you haven't caught up to the manga, I would highly recommend clicking off this video. And I'll be talking about chapters 1 through 20 at some point, so you can skip at the timestamp right beneath my finger. So that being said, hope you enjoy. So in chapter of 183 of Rent-A-Girlfriend, a lot of people are wondering, why is mommy so cruel? Why is she trying to break Kazuya up from Mizuhara? Why is she so angry here when she says, but you don't need to let him manipulate you anymore? Before we write her off as some crazy evil b what I think we need to do is take a step back and try to understand who mommy to mommy really is what her situation is to really understand her motive now obviously her main goal is to break them up she does not want kazuya to be with mizuhara but the big question is is mommy trying to get with kazuya or does she just want him to be single those are two different outcomes in this video, we're going to try to figure out why Mommy is being this cruel in Chapter 183, and then take a look at what's really going on in this chapter, what she's really trying to say, not even just in Chapter 183, but in this story as a whole. So, in Chapter 1, Mommy breaks up with Kazuya. All of us know this. But... There is a little bit more happening here than on the surface. And you'd have to go to chapter 20 to see what the deal is. I'm eventually going to come back to everything that happens in between. But I think it's very, very important to look at the contents of chapter 20 and combine that with when Mommy breaks up with Kazuya. After the events of the beach arc, we see Mommy sitting here in her room all by herself. And what is she thinking about? If I'm not any wiser, I feel like a lot of us would think that Mommy is just concocting some plan to destroy Kazuya's life when she's alone. And she does do that a lot of times later in the manga. But in this particular moment, she is thinking about Kazuya. When she was choosing somebody to date in college, she chose Kazuya just because he was convenient. Let's look at what she says. Anybody was fine, so I just picked the most convenient one. But why am I so obsessed with him? This translation says, falling in love is just painful. But I talked to a couple people on the Rent-A-Girlfriend server, and I determined that the Chinese translation says, I have decided not to fall in love anymore. And this is because she's sitting alone here, and she is looking at none other than Kazuya on her cell phone. Regretting how lonely she is after her quick and immature decision to dump Kazuya for no reason. She's feeling regret. She misses him. These are her true feelings. And this is the only time in the manga where we really get to see that Mommy has some sort of resounding feelings from their relationship. Now, let's try to figure out the context of why she wants to break them up. Because breaking up with a guy and regretting it doesn't necessarily make you want to break him up from the girl that she's interested in. That he's interested in, right? That's not really how that works. There's more to it, but I wanted to start with this. Because mommy breaking up with Kazuya is a little bit more complicated than just her being heartless and breaking up with Kazuya because she just felt like it. She was immature, and she comes to regret that down the line. We don't see that much, but it does happen. Now, let's look at the first moment in which Kazuya really, really hurt Mommy. In the first couple of chapters, we see Mommy 
get introduced to Mizuhara, who is Kazuya's rental girlfriend. But of course, no one knows that. As far as Mami is concerned, she's seeing Kazuya just a couple months after the breakup with a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman by his side. And Mami is jealous. She sees how beautiful Mizuhara is and how kind of dopey Kazuya is and is wondering how in the world could that even be possible. And since that struck a chord with her, that's why she kind of badmouths Kazuya in front of everyone, embarrassing him to no end. Then Mizuhara has to defend him and all this kind of stuff. But the reason that happens is because Mommy is unsure of her feelings and she is feeling a little bit of je jealousy. And uh, as we can see from the first several chapters, Kazuya is still being manipulated and controlled by Mommy. He is depressed by Mommy. Mommy is the only thing that he can think about in his life. Mommy likes being in control of Kazuya's feelings. And the thing is, since she's used to this control, what happens next is going to completely rob her of the satisfaction of being able to be in control of Kazuya's feelings and his thoughts. So right after the party where Mizuhara and Mami met, she says this to implant doubt in Kazuya's mind as to whether Mizuhara is really as good of a girl as he thinks she is. But really, Kazukun, she's interesting. That girl you're going out with, that is. Huh? She seemed so mature and polite, but all of a sudden she yelled out, What a strange girl, you think? I'm not good with dealing with those landmine kind of girls. It's kind of like, hard to deal with? A pain in the ass? Well, I can't judge you for choosing a pretty face. What the hell did you just say? He's insulting him for being shallow, because you're already an adult that can make your own decisions. But if you don't look for what's on the inside... And Kazuya cuts him off here. He gets a little bit angry. She's not that kind of girl. Huh? This moment, this face, is when she's like, wait a minute. I can't say whatever I want to Kazuya. Sorry, I haven't gotten over it yet, but I still like you. I wouldn't get angry at anything you would say about me to others. Actually, I'd be content just being able to talk to you. But it's not right to talk bad about her. Mizuhara is not that kind of girl. Look at Mommy's face right here. She's shattered. She's completely shattered. She thought that what she said, Kazuya would take because she knows that he's in love with her. But he doesn't do it. He defends Mizuhara in spite of Mommy insulting her. So that's why she gets so hurt. In the next few moments, she's, she's typing on her phone on Twitter and it says, can't believe he sided with her against me. I'll make sure they break up. Just to go into a little bit more detail as to what may have inspired Mommy's motive to break up Mizuhara and Kazuya. If we look in chapter 10, we'll see that Mommy is staring at Mizuhara's chest, which she's very voluptuous. And Mommy stares at it and she is amazed and jealous. She literally jumps up off the ground <laughs> because of how impressed she is with Mizuhara's appearance and the fact that Kazuya gets a girl that looks this good. In fact, right after that, she texts on Twitter again, Seriously, this is why I hate virgins. Bitch, what do you mean it's been a while? I don't want to see your face ever. Just break up already. If you're wondering, Twitter is kind of mommy's venting mechanism. She uses this website to express her feelings, and this is how we, as an audience, get a chance to understand her inner thoughts. And the last time that Kazuya really breaks Mommy's heart is when Kazuya is on the phone with Mommy, and they determine that they're going to meet by the hotel, in the pool, and they're going to talk about their feelings. Presumably, Mommy's going to talk to him about breaking up with Mizuhara and maybe being with her or not. That's still ambiguous, but they're gonna have a conversation 
instead of having that conversation, Kazuya save his current girlfriend's life rather than spending time with his ex that may even want to get back. Mommy being jealous of Mizuhara is even more pissed. She really wanted to have a genuine conversation with him. She's feeling upset and in the the panel that, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's look at her face when she first finds out. She's just sitting there on her heart buoy, devastated. And then the next time that Kazuya sees mommy, she just gives him this blank look from the car and then immediately rolls up the window. She's upset, she's pissed. We haven't even gotten to chapter 20 where we understand that mommy is kind of missing Kazuya, kind of missing that relationship. But that's what's going on here. Mommy's feelings are hurt. <laughs> So what does mommy do with this perfect storm of losing control of Kazuya, being jealous of Mizuhara, and being confused about her own feelings for Kazuya, combined with the fact that she is very, very manipulative? I would argue that it creates a bitter person who wants revenge in some way. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, what takes place in Rent a Girlfriend to inspire mommy to be so spiteful to Mizuhara in chapter 183, and how does she put together this intricate and very, very impressive plan to corner Mizuhara in this way, and to have some bite to her words? That's our next bet. Now, in chapter 42, we see Mami stalking Kazuya on his date with Sumi. This chapter is the first chapter which she's trying to find information to break up Kazuya and Mizuhara. And in this moment, she's really just trying to get information out of Sumi. That's her goal here. Here's the thing I want to point out though. Kazuya asks, Mommy, why are you here? And Mommy says, I came with my friends. I came with my friends. In chapter 42, she was clearly by herself. So she lies in order to, to get to know this information. Mommy is desperate, but it also says something else. Where are her friends? Other than seeing her walk with some random college guys in the first couple chapters and being at that party you know, at the beach with Mizuhara and Kazi and company, we haven't really seen Mommy pictured with anyone. So what I'm thinking is that she's actually really lonely like she doesn't have a lot of people around her to talk with about her feelings she's just out here by herself and she's bitter and she regrets her decisions and honestly in a lot of ways i feel sorry for her it reminds me of that moment when she was sitting alone in her room thinking about how she missed kazuya and she just doesn't know how to correctly express her feelings and her frustration. And one of the reasons is because she's all alone. So after getting information from Sumi, she discovers that Sumi is actually a rental girlfriend. And this is what she looks like when she finds out. And this gives her some ideas, okay? This gives her some idea. Well, rental girlfriend, well, 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 what is that? And then we see we see the very next chapter. This is chapter 44. 45, bros. 45. She rents Mizuhara. She finds her out. And then we get some drama, okay? We get some drama coming up in here. And Kazuya works there. He's like, what? When he sees them walk past. Mommy is is really, really dedicated to destroying this whole thing because Mizuhata's trying to get to the bottom of it. She's not trying to sing no karaoke. She's trying to understand why mommy's there. So Mizuhata says, won't you please tell me why you called me here today? I don't think it's simply because you wanted to do karaoke with me. She slowly walks over slooms over Mizuhara 
as she's looking very uncomfortable. We see a close-up of her frown as she gives this passive-aggressive smile and says, Sing for me? She wants to stay in control. You can almost see the steam coming out of her brain <laughs> right here. She's mad at Mizuhara because she made a mistake breaking up with Kazuya and being lonely. <laughs> she doesn't have as many friends as Kazuya has. She doesn't have as many connections or as much going for as Mizuhara has. Mommy is upset and she's taking it out, taking it out completely on Mizuhara. And finally she says, this make-believe game of pretend lovers. Could you stop it already? Huh? You see, everyone at uni actually believes that lie. Even my friends. What friends, mommy? I don't think I can just stand and watch you keep fooling everyone. Besides, I feel sorry for Kazukun. As long as he has a rental girlfriend, he won't ever be able to get a real girlfriend. You don't even love him, and yet you pretend to be his girl. Kazukun pays you money, just so he could brag about you being his girlfriend. Then you go and plaster that fake, lying smile on your face. I'm just a wee bit fed up with it all. Now here's the thing about this particular scene that really resonates with me. Mommy isn't lying here. Her approach. In her first conversation with Mizuhata, her first major conversation after the beach arc is trying to manipulate Mizuhata into being truthful and making Mizuhata believe that Mommy, his ex, has Kazuya's best interest at heart. We know as an audience that she has a plan to break their entire relationship apart. However, Mizuhara doesn't know this yet. And her first approach is to use the truth and try to use emotion to appeal to Mizuhara to maybe just open up with Kazuya. Tell him that, you know, hey, I know you like me or whatever, but this isn't appropriate. We can't have a relationship like this. I don't want to fool anybody. We need to stop this lie. But it doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite work because Mizuhara comes right back and says, say, how do you feel? And then we have mommy out here dodging the question. But then when mommy asks, you know, how do you feel about it? Mizuhara dodges the question. Both mommy and Mizuhara dodge questions about Kazuya. Now, why? We don't know. I think both of them are shy. Both of them are confused, right? But when it comes to all the hate for mommy in the community, I think it's really, really important. These chapters are important to look at because Mizuhara isn't honest with her emotions and mommy isn't honest with her emotions. Let's look at the text itself. Mommy asks, I'm just thinking that maybe while you were pretending to be Kazukun's girlfriend, you actually fell for him? Mizuhara's response is, Kazuya is my boyfriend. And Mommy correctly points out, wow, masterfully avoided. Then Mizuhara says, Kazuya is serious. Are you? Have you ever been serious about him? Did you ever actually let him love you? And Mommy looks down, pulls away from her, and says, butt out. You mind your own business, and we will mind ours. Both of them are avoiding the question. I only wanted to throw this out there in this video because there are some parallels between Mommy and Mizuhara. Now, Mommy is a lot more vicious and manipulative, but Mizuhara is unfair to Kazuya in her own way, her own unwillingness to open up. And I think it's an important thing to point out between those two characters because they do have this in common. Now, the very next time that Mommy meets up with Mizuhara, it's not nearly as a flamboyant, explosive confrontation, especially the one with Mommy and Ruka, which we'll get to next. But right here, when Mommy sees Mizuhara on the subway station, 
Her conversation goes like this. She's confronting Mizuhara about her bag to confirm the suspicion from several chapters before that Mizuhara was in fact in Kazuya's apartment when they were trying to hide it. Kazuya did, forgot to hide the purse, so when Mommy showed up, she was wondering what exactly was going on. So, Mommy asks Mizuhara a pointed question. Have you stopped seeing Kazukun? And Mizuhara tells a lie. To try to keep things under wraps, she says yes. But little did she know that Mommy was trying to catch Mizuhara in a lie so that she could come back later with the truth. But this time, a very different angle. Rather than, oh no, let's protect Kazuya, it'll be much, much more sinister. And we know that's chapter 183, but let's, let's get there a little bit later, shall we? Now I want to talk about the most explosive conversation that Mommy has with anybody in this entire manga, up to this point, even the latest chapter, 190. Like, this is huge. It's Ruka, fellas. Ruka. Her conversation with Ruka taking place in chapter 75, 76. Ruka says, You got some nerve. Do you think you can act all high and mighty just because you're Kazuya's ex? Do you think that just because you're Kazuya's first girlfriend, you're someone special to him or something? Huh? Sure, Kazuya will undress any cute girls with his eyes, so he seems like a cheat, but he doesn't even spend this much time thinking about you. What's your problem anyway? And look at her eyes. Look at Mommy's eyes. She is way taken aback. What's your problem anyway? Who barges in into their ex's boyfriend's work? Having second thoughts? Regretting how it ended? Too late though, because Kazuya is head over heels for me. I don't mind an ex or two. Anyway, you're over and done, so do me a favor and stop hanging around Kazuya. The thing that I think stings the most is that we haven't had anybody in this manga confront Mommy about her own feelings up to this point. And Ruka brings up something that we have seen Mommy several times in this manga, second guessing whether she's seen Kazuya in a corner and thinking, oh, do I miss him sitting on a train thinking about it like, oh no, I don't I do and I don't and I do. When Ruka says having second thoughts, regretting how it ended, she hasn't heard that said to her face before. So she is viciously angry. As we see in the same chapter 76, when, when some guys are trying to flirt with her, she looks more upset in this page than she ever has in this manga. She's just done. She's, de she's depressed now because she's not sure where she really is. So instead of dealing with her feelings in a healthy manner, she is doubling down on her plan of attack of Fermizuhada. And then very shortly after that, she confronts her about the bag, which we talked about. And then, and then, because Kibe gave mommy some information, about what's going on with Kazuya and his family and his workplace and all that type of stuff, Mommy does some snooping on Twitter and finds out that his grandma owns a shop. So she tries to get involved so that she can continue to have that control over Kazuya. And that is going to set the stage before chapter 183. You can see her sipping her apple cider in her room by herself. The same room in which she nearly cried over Kazuya. She is now concocting her plan to destroy their relationship and basically disappear in Rent a Girlfriend's plot until much later. So what we've talked about before is what has led up to the climactic moment of chapter 183 when Mommy confronts Mizuhara with some information. But 
unlike the first time they communicated, Mami's goal isn't just to say, hey, Mizuhara, think about Kazuya and his feelings. Let's not tell this lie. I don't want you to have to lie. I don't want to have to be caught up in this lie. Just, just tell the truth. You know, she's trying to take the high road. This time, the reason she she basically disappears from the story for so long until chapter, you know, really close to 183 is because she was trying to get with Grandma Nagomi. And the line that she says that proves this is right here. As Mommy is trying to convince Mizuhana to stop seeing Kazuya, she says, Whoa, back up. Honestly, all her and I have talked about is sake and work. Me and her getting to be friends isn't part of some scheme. She's just really great, you know? And this is where her argument shifts so that she can execute her plan to make Mizuhara doubt. Just like she was trying to make Kazuya doubt, but it failed way back in chapter 6. Now, Mommy is trying to make Mizuhara doubt Kazuya. She says, but you know, that's exactly why I feel bad when I think about her being deceived. She's trying to tug at those heartstrings. Please don't get the wrong idea, okay? I'm not angry or anything. But this is the furthest thing from the truth because we know that Mommy is very angry. She's jealous and she doesn't even know her own feelings. She's extremely angry. Why would she still be after this a year after she met Mizuhara? if she wasn't angry. And then she goes on, I've been thinking for a long time about why you'd go so far to support Kazukun. That drinking party, it feels like so long ago. What's it been? Like a year and a half now? You've lied to the school, his family. You have sort of gone overboard supporting him. She goes on and on about this truth thing, this truth brigade, but the moment that it shifts is right here in this panel but you don't need to let him manipulate you anymore. What do you think? How about you and I bring an end to this? All of it. She's trying to get Mizuhara to think in these pages that Kazuya is some sort of predator. Mommy hasn't brought this up before. It's, it's always been about truth, but this time, it's about survival. It's about mommy trying to take Mizuhara's side, trying to protect her, but it's all a lie. But like I said in the very beginning, well, this is a very messed up, sick and twisted plan to lie to someone in order to get the vengeance that she has a desire for. It comes from a place of fear, loneliness, and a lack of a good method to express her emotions and how she's feeling. It's clear she, that she doesn't have a lot of friends. It's clear that she doesn't know how to deal with her emotions. So what I take away from this and what I want you to take away from mommy's story is that if something is frustrating you, if something's making you feel small and you feel like a lot of people are against you and, and you've been hurt over and over and over, sometimes by the same person. Take a step back and think about what is the best way, what is the best place for me to put these emotions? Because if you're not careful, you or any someone that you might know could become like a mommy and instead of talking her feelings out with somebody that she trusts or going for a run or starting a new hobby or really just taking a look in the mirror and trying to figure out what she really wants with the man that she foolishly let go, she's deciding to try to destroy someone else's relationship that is really none of her business. 
if she doesn't want to be with Kazuya, then she has no right to be trying to impede on someone else's relationship. You know, she's really trying to go in and, and confuse Mizuhara. And as we'll find out, Ruka lies to Mizuhara too. And now Mizuhara has two lies that she has to deal with, and it's not fair to her. Mommy's treating Mizuhara very, very unfairly. And Kazuya too. They're just trying to figure out their own feelings, and we have someone who doesn't even know what she really feels about Kazuya trying to break up Mizuhara and Kazuya from the love story that hasn't even truly begun. What I want to say is, if you're going through something, if you're having a hard time figuring out where to express your emotions, try to do it in a way that is positive. Try to do it in a way that is constructive, where both you and everyone around you can benefit. There will be people who will listen to you. There are a lot of really, really good people here. And if you need someone and you're not sure anyone in your real life, you can join our Discord community. We have a, a section called Homies Help Homies, where you can just express whatever you're going through. And me, myself, or some of my staff will respond to you. Whatever you're going through, we'll talk to you. We'll talk you through it. So, you know, if I have to say anything about mommy, we know that her motive is to break up Kazi and Mizuhara, but we don't know if she wants him or not. There's not enough evidence in the story to confirm that. But anyways, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for watching the origin of Mami na Mami. Let me know if there are any other characters that you'd like me to explore and do a character analysis of, whether it's from Rent a Girlfriend or an entirely new story. Just let me know. I'll be hitting you with reviews like this every week from now on, or at least that's the goal. Thank you so much for your support. And without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. It's time for that trash time. Let's get it.